Today, I want to kind of talk to you about some oil clearances on the lower end of the engine. So the oil clearance is, the, is actually the clearance between the bearing on the lower end of the engine. We have our test subject here. This is a small block Chevy that we're doing for a customer. Um, the, the main bearings, and the rod bearings for that matter, and you have clearances in them. So the main bearing is torqued into the main here. What we did is we put the bearings that are going to go in this journal, we, we put the bearings in and we torqued our cap on to specifications because we want to know what size this bore is here. Now, there's been some debate over the years whether or not plastic gauge is a viable way to actually check clearances. My personal opinion is I don't like plastic gauge because it is not accurate enough. The correct way and, and pretty much any performance oriented shop out there is going to do oil clearances with precision measuring tools, a micrometer, and a dial bore gauge. This is a, a gauge that has a, a dial indicator on it. These are actually the best tools to use for getting a really accurate oil clearance measurement. So let me show you how we do that. So we have our crankshaft here and this is this crank has been reground undersized. So what you want to do is you want to take your micrometer, you want to measure your crank journal. A machine shop can do this for you if you're not sure to how to read a mic. They're fairly simple to read and you can teach yourself if you need to. So what we're going to do is we're going to mic this. We're going to get right in the center of this journal and make sure we get an accurate reading on this, this mic. Once you get the reading on the micrometer, go ahead. There's a locking mechanism on here. We'll just gently lock that. You don't want to get too crazy with this. We don't want to damage the crank. And then we're going to read our micrometer. This micrometer is telling me that this journal here is 2 inches 419 thousandths. 419 thousandths is 30 thousandths smaller than the standard journal size. So this crank has actually been ground 30 thousandths undersized. And of course, that's why we have 30 under bearings. Okay, so the next step is to take this reading and transfer it to your dial bore gauge. So very simply, we, we take our, our dial bore gauge here and the gauge is actuated at this end. This, this is going to go inside the bore. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our micrometer and we're going to actually put the dial bore gauge in the micrometer. So we're, we're actually duplicating what we have. So we get this centered in here and we're duplicating the reading of our mic. Once we get that centered, what we do is we take and we zero out the indicator. So now my indicator when it's on zero right here, when I put it on the bore, is going to be the same size as this journal. And once I put this in the bore of the engine, I'll be able to see the difference and that's going to be my clearance. So let's go over to the engine and do that. So now my dial indicator is set up so that when it's this is right on zero, it's going to duplicate the size of the crankshaft. So we'll just take our dial indicator. Now remember, we've got the bearing in, we've got this torque. We take our dial indicator, we're going to very gently put it in there, and we're going to find the, the smallest spot here. And what we've got, so I'm reading just about three thousandths larger than that zero, which means that our bore size here, with the bearing installed, is about three thousandths larger than the crank journal. That's how you check oil clearances on the lower end of the engine. You don't want to use plastic gauge. Plastic gauge is a process where you have a package and you have this small piece of plastic and you you torque it into the you torque it in in here into the mains here and when when you put your cap on there it squishes the plastic. I'm sure most of you know what plastic gauge is. And so you, you really don't, it's just not accurate enough. So you need to do it, you need to have a machine shop do this, or you either need to have these tools available to you. And you need to check every single clearance, not just one of them. You need to check every single main and every single rod using, you need to mic every single crank journal on your crankshaft. If you do that, everything will be fine. Make sure that your oil clearances are within specifications. The oil clearances being right uh, can be the difference between a motor running well and one that doesn't last very long at all. So those oil clearances, Certain things in life you can guess out, like I always say, building a motor, you can't guess. You have to know that your specs are right. So hopefully that helps you. That's a nice tech tip for you. Uh, don't forget to subscribe below. Stay tuned. i got a lot more videos coming. Uh, thanks for watching, and we'll see you soon.